Hello everyone, today I'm very excited to show you the new coin image editing model that allows you to edit your images like flux context. This model was trained over 20 billion parameter. It can edit semantics and appearance that make it a powerful tool for image editing. The model focuses a lot on text editing by supporting both Chinese and English languages. And most importantly, it is natively supported on Comfy UI now. So today I will try to show you how you can make it work in Comfy UI and how to use an optimized workflow for low graphic card PC users. So without further ado, let's dive into the tutorial. If you head over to their Hugging Face uh, link, you can see the all the necessary information about this new coin image editing model. You can also see the results of different use cases that uh, are included here. We have here different uh, image editing results, and uh, I must uh, say that it is very important especially here in the text uh, in the style changes uh, alongside with the text uh, change implementation you can also see that uh, it can be used for adding object or uh, removing object the same goes here for this uh, text editing background replacement we also have virtual try on and we uh, you can see the results of uh, chinese changes so to make it work first of all you need to open up your comfy ui go to manager and here you can click the update button but in my case i prefer doing the update using this bad file here it is more uh, secure and it can avoid crashes so make sure to go to your comfy ui root folder and here enter the update comfy ui once it is uh, finished make sure to restart your comfy ui then uh, in order to confirm that uh, you updated successfully just go to browse template so then enter image and here you can see that we have the coin image edit workflow implemented uh, automatically just open up this workflow and here we have the workflow for coin image editing model as you can see so let's start with the models we need to download uh, the fp8 model the load clip for coin and also the vae for coin if you saw my previous tutorial, you will have automatically those files at the exception of this uh, coin image edit FP8. So in, uh, if you don't have it, you can use this link here and you will find all the necessary models starting with the VAE, the coin image, uh, the text, the text encoder, the, uh, the fusion FP8 model for uh, coin image editing. And you will also need to download the coin image lightning for steps Lola. This way, it will allow you to use less steps and uh, give you uh, more faster results. After that, make sure that all the downloaded file goes into their uh, destination target. All you have to do is go to a comfy y root folder. For the text encoder, make sure to put it under clip here. Then, for the diffusion model, make sure to put the coin image editing here. For the LoRas, make sure to paste the model here. And finally, if you are uh, downloading the GGUF version, as I did uh, for my test, make sure to put the GGUF model under unit. For my test, I'm going to use the Q4 GGUF version. So once you have all the necessary model, you can uh, start uh, using this coin image editing. Okay, now that we have all the necessary models, let's take a closer look at the workflow. This workflow is provided directly with the update of Comfy UI. Let's start with the first step where uh, you have all the necessary models here. Then when you need to upload your images, for example, let's take this image over here. Then we have the most important uh, part of this uh, workflow is the text encode coin image edit. This one, you can see that uh, we have a positive uh, one and a negative one. So for the image editing, we're going to focus only on this uh, text encode uh, positive node, where here you can add or edit your image based on what you want. Then we have here our key sampler. And if you focus uh, here, you can see that we are using 20 steps, CFG value of 2.5. Uh, sampler name is set to Euler, and I suggest you to leave it uh, as Euler. So, uh, because uh, it is the most, the fastest uh, sampler compared to the others. And for the scheduler, we are using a simple one. Okay, here you can also see the key sampler setting provided by the update, where we have different steps and CFG uh, values for, uh, in order to give you the best results. And if you zoom in here, you can see that the FP8 version with the eight step, four step, sorry, 
can use four steps and CFG value of one, which make it the fa fastest way to use this image editing. For the load image nodes, we have this scale image to pixel in order to avoid uh, some crashes due to large images. Then this image is gonna be encoded using the VAE model and it's gonna be transformed into the latent. So this way you will uh, end up having uh, a resulted image with the same resolution at the input image. And you can also enable here this uh, LoRa model only, which I strongly suggest you because uh, all those models take a lot of time to render. But based on uh, this workflow, I uh, managed to create my own custom workflow, which is uh, dedicated for low VRAM PC graphic card, since I was able to use it uh, with the RTX 3060 at 6 GB of VRAM and it took me uh, about 2 minutes in order to obtain uh, good results and the most important thing for this workflow is it can use uh, single image editing or multiple image editing using this uh, subgroup here I also added an upscaling group which is based on Quen image model for image generation uh, with the, combined with the LoRa 4 steps in order to give you 2K resolution results so once your image edit results is here, it will upscale the, automatically uh, your results to a higher resolution here. If you take a closer look, you can see that we have the model and VAE. I am using the GGUF loader, but you can switch to FP8 if you want. I could not load the FP8 version, and uh, any time I try to use it, it crashes uh, for uh, some unknown reason. So if you encounter this problem and solve it, please let me know in the comments down below. Then the GGUF model is directly plugged into this uh, LoRa model uh, loader. And I am still using the load clip, the load VAE. For the latent, I add here another uh, subgroup. If you are using only one image, you can directly plug this latent here. However, if you are using multiple image, I suggest you to use this empty latent image and plug it here. You can also enable the multiple uh, image editing using this uh, pass group bypasser by just clicking here. For text editing, I'm using only a text uh, encode when image positive. And this conditioning is set to positive and negative and it worked for me uh, using uh, this method. Okay, I also here added a series of prompts that I used for uh, single and multiple image editing. And we're, we're gonna try to test out this model for style change, the background change, depth map creation, uh, the lighting uh, of a change of an image, and also multi-character uh, combined. Okay, for my first test, I used this image of this lady taking a selfie as the input image. Then I tried to use the simple prompt of in order to get uh, the back angle of this image. And it uh, successfully created this image without any other artifact. And you can clearly see the consistency of the image. For the second uh, use case, I try to add a dress and change the clothes of this lady by adding directly the Quen text into the t-shirt, into the center of the, the dress. And it kind of created the dress. However, it failed for the text adding. The next thing that I did is I changed the background behind the lady and I tried to put it over a beach scene. I did the same with the modern class room. And I tried to add the Quen text. However, it is not clearly visible for uh, this image. Next, I try to change the style of the image to anime style and it is very good results. You can also obtain a depth map or create a depth map based on the input image with only using uh, the uh, appropriate prompt. Here are the results of uh, style changing using the Ghibli style. The oil painting style I used for this uh, image, Van Gogh uh, painting and a line art per style results. So we can uh, see that it is uh, as good as flux context for style changing. Then I tried some uh, changes uh, using this uh, picture of a car where I asked for a color change. I changed the metallic green to, metallic, to golden uh, color. Okay, next I used this input image of this Chinese man sitting on a wall. Then I asked for a daylight changing with the blue neon uh, light. The results is uh, also impressive and it managed to change the lighting of the picture while keeping uh, 
the other details uh, consistent. Then I try to edit this image of red hair lady and I asked for color changing. And this is the results that I get. You can clearly see that it uh, successfully changed the hair color without any loss of uh, the detail. Now let's jump to multiple uh, image editing at the same time. All you have to do here is go to the workflow, enable the step on load media and disable the step on load media and enable to multi the multiple media group. Next, make sure to use this empty latent image here and we are good to go. So for the first test, I used the image of this uh, lady here and I also add the image of this uh, soda pink banter. What I wanted to do is uh, replace the phone here with this uh, soda can and make the uh, lady drink it. And this is the result of uh, this first image. You can clearly see that uh, we managed to obtain the image of a lady with the can soda. However, we are still getting some artifact here. And I did another test with another soda can. And you can clearly see that we it could not uh, successfully create uh, what I wanted. Then I changed the soda can into this donut and the results was quite impressive. After that, I input two images uh, of women and I try to generate uh, one image with the two uh, women uh, hugging each other. However, this time it successfully created without any other artifacts. The same goes for this image. I managed to create uh, an image with two women holding their hands. Another impressive result of this uh, coin image editing is uh, those uh, two ladies is sitting uh, at the restaurant while eating uh, at the same table. And you can clearly see the uh, results of this uh, image editing. It is consistent and uh, quite acceptable. However, to fix those artifacts, I also included this upscaling uh, subgroups with the denoise value of 0.3 steps of 4 and CFG of 1. It's also gonna use the coin image model with the lower lightning steps and it's gonna try to upscale the, the first results here into 4k then using this node is gonna try to generate the 2k resolution with good uh, consistency and details. So even if you're getting some artifact you can try to fix it using this upscaling group or you can try to increase the steps into higher number of 8 for example and the result is gonna be impressive for both the resolution the style and the, the details okay now let's talk about the verdict of this uh, coin image editing model so if you try to compare the flux it can give you approximately the same results at the exception of the multi uh, image editing I think uh, this uh, coin uh, model is better than Flux for uh, multiple uh, image editing and it can handle this uh, very easily. For the generation time, uh, we can attribute uh, that to Flux context since it has the Nunchaku version and uh, it can also be used with the Hyper uh, Turbo Flux LoRa in order to reduce the steps. But uh, we can uh, still uh, hope for a Nunchaku version of this Coin image editing. We already have uh, one for the coin for the coin image model generation. However, it is not implemented yet. So I hope in the future we will have an implementation for the Nunchaku version of this image editing model. So if you want to use this uh, image editing model instead of Flux, it can also be very useful using this workflow flow where you can get uh, high resolution uh, results without any details lost. Okay, that's it for today's tutorial. If you like this video, please push the like button for me, leave me some comments down below, and don't forget to become a Patreon member of my Patreon page, where you can get early access to my workflow, some news uh, related to Comfy UI, and you can also ask me to build a custom workflow for your needs. So thank you.